understand. Like, I still don't think to this day anybody knows how he got, like, on the sidelines, like, how he got in the interview room after the game. Like, because we went into, like, the Monday after it happened, we went in and, like, our SID guy was like, we apologize. We don't know how that guy got in. We don't know where he came from. And so, like, all these years later, nobody still knows how he, this dude got on the sidelines and how he got in the interview room. Like, I get. I mean, he must. I guess he's really good at what he does. Obviously, um, but somehow he managed to get on the sideline and, and not just get on the sideline. He stayed on the sideline. He was he was dancing with the cheerleaders on the sideline. Like, <laughs> and nobody yes, came. He was. Like, nobody what? came and like asked this dude like, well, "How did you get down here? What are you doing?" Like. He stayed down there the whole game dancing with the cheerleaders. Man, those people You're were trying so to get mad. a cheerleader, man. Well, no, we, we, luckily, no, we have the, someone who we can ask about this. Stephen M. Smith, how do you sneak onto the sidelines? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, sir. Sir, I do not sneak. I am credentialed. My job. <laughs> they said your press pass has three S's on it. What Kinko's FedEx did you make that thing yet? Press. <laughs> 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 I am credential, sir. They, they say your oh press pass God. got made out of crayon and construction <laughs> paper. <laughs> he wrote his name on there. <laughs> like, what third grader made this for you, sir? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, then he got some of the gold stars on it. You know, the little stars that you get back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> are you, is this a press pass or are you a three star general? Which one is it? Oh my God, man. That is hilarious. So they gave him that a candy necklace hilarious. and sent him back to his seat. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Plow Jagger wants to know if, if he does a movie, can he dance with the cheerleaders? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Plow, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, as long as he doesn't dress up like, you know what I mean, like Borat did, like he might be all right, but man, I'm joking. They were mad at that dude, bro. They were dude. They was cussing at him. They were <laughs> mad. Oh, they were so mad. And, and it's funny is that uh, through the years, he's done stuff like that constantly. He's always come to Alabama and picking on Alabama. And someone actually interviewed him one time and asked, Do you, at any time, have you ever felt scared for your life? He said, yes, one time when I was at Bryant-Denny Stadium in front of 88,000 people, I literally thought I was going to die. <laughs> I believe it. Mm. I believe it. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is like when we got into like the um like the little interview room where they do like the post game interviews and stuff, I was like the last one in there. And what and what people don't know, like he interviewed like Justin Smiley, really he interviewed like Wes, but them dudes like once he started talking, you know them cats, they was like, Oh no, nah, man, they just got up. They didn't obviously I guess they wasn't dumb enough like me to sit there and <laughs> Go along with the <laughs> but so you uh, took but the I, guess, I guess those guys didn't give him enough material to you know make his show i guess i did but he he came up to me and i was like the last one in the in the media room and he comes up to me and he was like in this little funny accent he's like hey we're doing a documentary on american sports can we interview you and it's me him and his camera dude that's the only people in the media room and I'm looking around and I'm trying to find Charlie Pepper because Charlie was waiting on me because we were going to walk back. Because back then you had to walk from the stadium back to the complex to get in your car. Hey, man, people don't leave. understand the struggle back then. We didn't have buses to pick us up. We had no, to walk. That's what I'm saying. You had to walk. We had to walk. So Charlie was waiting on me so we could walk back to get my car and leave or whatever. So he walked out the interview room and it's just me this dude and his camera guy, and I'm like, man. And then he kind of starts walking towards me, and I'm like, yeah, this is about to happen. And so he, he, asked, he asked, he asked, and I was like, yeah, man, like, that's cool. Like, I, you know, I mean, that's, that sounds like a pretty cool documentary to be part of. And we sat down, and he just started asking all kinds of crazy questions. I was like, wait, I'm like, oh, no, I'll man. say to the people out there who say that you are so powerful in your physique, have very powerful thighs and pectoral muscles and wonder what your Schwanzenstock is like? Uh, I don't know. I've never uh, been put in that situation. Are you allowed to date other members of the team or do you have to wait till the season is over? What? 
No, there's there's nobody on the team like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get down. I don't swing that way, bro. Just, if, I want, if, I, if I if I gotta wait until after the season to date the quarterback, I'm like, what? I'm like, nah, man. Don't, don't worry, yes, like yes. Hey, the crazy thing is like, oh, pops in my head, like Brody instantly pops in my head. I'm like, ah, oh, nah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, and then I didn't find out about it until a couple of months later because nobody knew who he was then. So his show hadn't started coming on TV yet, and so I'm just laying in bed. It was like it was like during spring ball. I'm laying in bed and my phone just starts blowing up. I'm laying <laughs> in bed and it's my teammates and I'm thinking like they're calling me trying to get me to go out or whatever, and I'm like nah. So I'm I'm not answering. And then they just keep calling, keep calling. And finally, I pick up. I'm like, what, man? Like, what y'all calling me? They're like, hey, turn on HBO right now. And I'm like, for what? They're like, you're talking to some some funny dude on HBO. And I'm like, man, what are y'all talking about? And I turned over to it, and I seen the dude. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it just took off after that. Like, man, here we are. I don't know how many years later. And. People still ask me about it. People still come up to me and are like, "Hey, weren't you on the Ali G show?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that was that was like 20 years ago." But yeah, like, <laughs> that was me.